Today we will be explaining how to use definite articles in Italian. In English, we use one definite article, the. Take a look at this picture. The arrow points at the horse to show that this is the definite horse. Unlike English, there are eight ways in Italian to say the. Il, lo, l with an apostrophe, la, e, ye, le, and l. Feminine definite articles. La is used when the noun is feminine and singular. La ragazza, la farfalla, la torta, and la macchina. Le is used when the noun is feminine and plural. Le ragazze, le farfalle, le torte, and le macchine. Masculine definite articles singular. Il is used when the noun is masculine and singular. Il ragazzo, il topo, il panino, and il telefono. Lo is only used when the following noun begins with an S plus consonant, PS, PN, GN, Z, X, or Y. Lo studente, lo psicologo, lo yogurt, lo xilofono, and lo zaino. E is used when the noun is masculine and plural. I ragazzi, i topi, i panini, and e telefoni. Like lo, ye is used when the following noun begins with an s plus consonant, ps, pn, gn, z, x, or y. Ye studenti, ye psicologi, ye yogurt, ye zilofoni, and ye zaini. Remember, Italian not only likes to sound flowy, but look flowy as well. The case of L apostrophe. When the noun that follows the definite article starts with a vowel, an apostrophe takes the place of the vowel after the L. This works for both masculine and feminine singular nouns. This keeps the flow when both writing and speaking Italian. L'amico, l'amica, la insalata, la ape, and l'albero. For the following exercises, please indicate whether the noun is plural or singular, and if it is masculine or feminine. Formica, singular, feminine. Polo, singular, masculine. Case, plural, feminine. Matite, plural, feminine. Zucchero, singular, masculine. Invasione, singular, feminine. Uomo, singular, masculine. Insetti, plural, masculine. For the second half of the exercises, please indicate which definite article would be used to modify the previous nouns from the first half of the exercises. Formica, la formica. Polo, il polo. Case, le case. Matite, le matite. Zucchero, lo zucchero. Invasione, la invasione. Uomo, l'uomo. Insetti, gli insetti. This brings us to the end of our lesson. Remember to look back at these charts when trying to figure out the correct definite article to use in Italian. Grazie, e al prossimo video.